buddies so today i'll be making a different kind of a video and this would be daily observations fun city fast ride kind of a thing now this is inspired by our friend royal jordanian you know we all used to watch his motor vlogs uh you know since the time i mean right from 2013 or so so well this is kind of a video where i'll be doing a similar thing like him of course i cannot make awesome daily observations like he does but i'll be slightly close okay and today i'll be going to driven cafe my friends from motivation track days they are hosting a session where moto gp is being screened there so that should be fun let's go so today i'll be riding 26 kilometers all the way till driven cafe it's a sunday afternoon about 2:30 pm oh boy <laughs> so i see so much fun to ride in the city i mean when the traffic is not too much when we have moderate traffic we can just zip through the traffic so well When I stopped at this signal, it was well over a minute, so it's better to cut off the engine. Engine remains cooler, and also we save fuel. We really, indeed, need to save fossil fuel. And I have three cameras on my helmet: one on the right, one on the left, one on the top. Now, this is going to create a lot of attention, not just from public, but also from the police. So, let me see <laughs> in case cops pull me over. and ask me why am i having so many cameras that would be interesting i should make a dedicated video on this topic about legality of having cameras and filming in public places like roads My rear tire is almost done and if I am accelerating any kind of in a aggressive manner it is spinning out so not really a great time to push a motorcycle hard but again I keep saying all this but I do it anyhow Okay 21 seconds again cut off the engine 6 seconds 5 seconds 4 seconds One zero. What? Ninety nine again? Whoa, what is happening? <laughs> it went down to zero, and it's back to ninety nine. Crazy. You know, another tip, friends. Never leave the ignition key in on position like this. When you see the display, it means it's an on position, because the fuel pump and all the electronics they keep running. So you don't want that. All right. So cut it off. Seventy four seconds to go. the double edge brake pads beautiful and another tip about braking friends you know it is not just about having good brakes on your motorcycle but when we have good brakes we got to be even more careful what i mean by that is that when you are pulling the brake lever back one is of course do it in a gradual graceful manner don't pull it back squeeze it back but keep your steering the handle straight don't keep it cross and then brake okay keep it straight 
till the time you keep it straight you are fine you know if you keep it cross your motorcycle can skid abs or non abs leave that all aside but keep the steering straight the handle straight and another another thing about the ktm 390 series motorcycles you got to keep an eye on two gauges one is the fuel gauge other is the temperature gauge fuel gauge keeps going down very fast temperature gauge keeps rising up very fast <laughs> till the time we are riding at about 50 km an hour the motorcycle is fine heat is in a, is under control but if you are stuck in bumper to bumper traffic and riding 20 km an hour 10 km an hour she heats up really really a lot but compared to the duke on the rc one blessing is that it's got fairing so your legs are protected from the heat but on the duke all the heat gets on your legs and if you don't have riding boots at that time if you have regular sneakers and all that you are done buddies your legs will become tandoori chicken and the reason why why do the ktm series motorcycles heat up so much the reason is high compression ratio now these motorcycles are close to 13 is to 1 compression that's a lot of compression for an example super bikes have about 12 or 11.5 compression these are 13 is to 1 more than a super bike because the reason is that uh, it is a huge cylinder 373 cc and the piston is also huge so when that happens they are able to uh, compress uh, the fuel and air mixture to a great extent and when the bang happens that is how they produce that torque and that horsepower remember four stroke cycle induction compression combustion exhaust induction cycle of a four stroke cycle means your inducting when the intake valve opens it sends a mixture of air and fuel then it second cycle is known as compression compression means when the air fuel is inducted it compresses the piston compresses the air and fuel mix in the cylinder next cycle is when the spark is given by the spark plug that is known as combustion or power stroke that is when the piston is banged down with the uh, bang the com combustion that happens and that is known as a power stroke and after that is exhaust so induction compression combustion exhaust exhaust stroke is when the exhaust valve opens and the piston pushes up all the exhaust gases and the cycle keeps repeating on its own now today is sunday so the traffic is just about manageable but if it would have been a saturday hyderabad saturday traffic is absolutely mental weekend traffic wow fuck up the psychopath i don't understand imagine if i would have been going faster i would have directly rammed into him this is what daily observation videos are all, all about and we can make a ton of them in our traffic situations no shortage of absolute idiots ha huh. ah see this dude now he got onto the flyover and is is turning back on a freaking flyover and also another topic that i would like to talk to you all about is trail breaking now trail breaking is basically we all love to corner correct so first we to, in order to become good at trail breaking or even to practice trail breaking first you have to understand 
and master general braking all right after that you get into trail braking it's an advanced braking skill when we enter a corner and if we realize that we already have uh, more than required speed then or even before entering a corner then we when the motorcycle is already tilted into the lean we can still brake at any lean angle that is known as trail braking for trail braking remember make sure there's no sand make sure your tire is uh, good i mean it has enough grip and you need to understand friction levels of the brake to be able to do trail braking anyhow i'll do a dedicated episode video episode on trail braking look at those women three people on a single scooter i think i've done just about halfway long way to go 26 kilometers on a highway feels nothing but in city conditions traffic conditions it does feel quite a bit of a journey now right there is harley davidson showroom hyderabad okay 33 seconds I have enough time take it easy another thing friends at traffic signals don't rush your way through there will be some guy who will be jumping at traffic light and you will be in trouble don't do that okay we have speed guns here right here in the front i think speed limit is 60 km an hour i'll be at 50 that's much better a brand new audi q3 congratulations okay that's a lady driving i have nothing against lady drivers by the way unless until they do something absolutely crazy i have nothing against them <laughs> Okay, this Mercedes has its fuel cap open. I mean, just the exterior one. As much as I love motorcycles, riding, I, ah, oh God, on the same hand, I absolutely dislike, hate this traffic here. I mean, traffic, potholes, what the shit, spoiling the complete experience of motorbiking. That is the reason I generally don't ride in the city traffic, but yeah, once in a while, it's fine. Now I don't know how many minutes this traffic signal is going to take. I'm just going to put this off. Once I cross this, I think I can be a little faster, but I'm just hoping. <laughs> nice, beautiful color on the Elantra. Hyundai. We call it Hyundai in India. It's Hyundai. Hyun, Hyun, Hyun. Uh, whatever, 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 whatever. Get through, zip through this bloody traffic. Zip through, zip through, zip through, zip through. Well, I, I don't like to cut through traffic, but that probably that's the only option for me to get ahead. Because no one really drives in a lane. And see the ungli se ghi jab nahi nikalti hai, to ungli theda karna padta hai. That means that when you're good and things don't work out, you gotta be a little not so good. Love the RC, woo, and love the edge brake pads. I can start braking absolutely at the last moment. Cut through traffic, baby. Cut through. Okay, okay. Green, baby, smooth. Come on. I don't like to honk. When I'm zipping through city traffic like this, city roads, my biggest concern is that no one should jump over that flyover, man. People crossing roads, when they do that, it is fucking crazy. I mean, it'll take life of both of them. 
life of the person who jumps off like an idiot and my life and it will also hurt my motorcycle keep left keep left okay so straight is Gachiboli that is where I got to reach Sid loves one of these trucks the cement mixers he loves everything big you know excavators, tractors, cranes, cement mixers check out the number of people that are there on that Activa four four people looks like he modified the engine to be very powerful man <laughs> no jokes I can understand financial situations etc etc it's not easy for people to buy cars or go in cabs but it's a very unsafe thing to do carrying so many people on a scooter see this dude oh my god small little girl no safety all right I'm just about a couple of kilometers away from driven cafe now Bad patch, bad patch, bad patch, bad patch, bad patch. And here I am at Kapil Towers, Driven Cafe. What more can I say? I wouldn't be here today if the old school didn't pave your way. What more can I say? I wouldn't be here today if the old school didn't pave your way. <laughs> Ain't nothing like the old school. What more can I say? I wouldn't be here today if the old school. I remember Mr. Magic Flash, Grandmaster Castle, L raising hell, but I didn't last ever be a rock gym was a shit to me. I flipped to see a W Fresh show with Ricky D. There's a beautiful fire blade here. I don't know whom it belongs to, but it looks beautiful. Now this is a race pick RC390 belongs to my friend Anoop from Motivation Track Days I'm going to be doing a detailed review on this and all the specs of this motorcycle Stay tuned. Cause still I was them black parties in the projects and on my block. The kick it won't stop sipping on that private side. And through my speaker, Queen Latifa, and it's see light. Listen to tracks of KRS to get me through the night. With till the rocket man trying to step the sign. If you remember the picture with the bomb shit, nothing like the old school. What can I say? I wouldn't be here today if the old school didn't pay the way. What can I say? I wouldn't be Today, if the old school didn't pay the way, the old what can I say? I wouldn't be here today. If the old school didn't pay the way, the old school didn't pay the way. I had shell toes and BVDs. I kill a piece of my leaves when I hit the streets. I play a scaly ring of Levi or a catch a kiss. Before the homies in my hood learn to smack a bitch. I remember way back the week we they had too many seeds in the trade bag. I'm on the train heading up. Freestyling with some wild kids from Bucktown Profiling because the hoop teeth are staring Checking where the niggas wearing I'm wondering if that's a hit I remember